Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great night and make it a great weekend, folks, because this is the last trading day of the week. Be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will be manifested through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will be manifested through what you say each and every day. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down seven, NASDAQ up 89, S&P's up 14. Gold, gold contract down $11.40 trading out of 20, 24 an ounce. We have silver up a penny at $25.05 an ounce. Light sweet crew down six cents, eighty dollars fifty five cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, a ten year note down two ticks, trading one sixteen sixteen. The thirty year flat at one thirty four oh two. And king dollar, king dollar, all right, king dollar. There you go. King dollar trading flat one oh one eight fifty two. The euro is at one oh nine. The yen's at one thirty one. The British pound is at one twenty four to one U S dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, what you have out here, folks, is you have a rejection of lower price with lighter volume. That's setting up an ABC structure up. That's what it looks like. I mean, you know, my take is that we're going to go after this swing high of 418. And now the way this is set up, it's a nice setup for an ABC up. You can see your A point out here is uh, the 389. Your B point is... Up here at uh, 411, so 41192, it's almost 412. One second, four, oh, three. What did I just say here? Yeah. There it is right there, actually. No, it's 393, you get seven. Yeah, it's 17. So you get 22. Yeah, that's it. It's 422. And bottom line, that, that swing high is 418. You can see we're, we're pulling back tremendously lighter volume. You rejected 405.68 today. And that's that big bar, man. We never got to the bottom of that big bar from last Friday. Friday, that's a benchmark. There's no two ways about it. Friday's a benchmark. We go take a look at the NDX 100. It's the same type of setup inside the NDX. The, the thing with the NDX, which is intriguing, that the one-to-one -one ABC structure is 328. And you're at 318 now. Same type of setup, though. Bottom line, we get down to 312 today. You can see a rejected lower price. You're at 318. You're going to have lighter volume. You know, it's the B points on these... Structures are going to be pretty easy to take out, folks, because what we do have is that next week you start off the week. I believe it's going to be Tuesday, 14th. What day is today? Well, BAC. The banks are going to start off the week, and more than likely they're going to surprise us, I guess. <laughs> It'd be really weird if they do. But anyway, these are ABCs. They're potential ABC structures on the way up. We got to take a look at the gold contract. Now, this is a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. We can take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract took out the B point. Plenty of volume uh, would have blew it away. Uh, that, that structure there is at 21.54. And you can see that even today, you're, you're pulling back. We're pulling back with 140,000 contracts going and And we went to top side with 233,000 contracts. So I suspect that's going to basically, you know, get moving up there. Notes and bonds. Now, the note and bond market, folks, is also setting up an ABC structure up. That'll blow some minds, man. Because this is like, okay, you're at the top of the range right now. We're backing down off the top of the range, you know. And in one month, we had the 10-year, okay, go from 4% to 32 <laughs> That's pretty incredible, man. Four point, to be exact, it's 4056 to 3.292, and that's that run right there. So we'll see, you know, the bottom line, we get back down with lighter volume. You're going sideways today, which would figure, you know, you get, get up. this is the, going into the holiday, but my take is that bonds have topped out. That the bottom line is that rates have topped out, and we're gonna basically start going down in rates. And no matter what the Fed does, the, the, the market itself is taking the rates down. And what's going to get intriguing here is that what is going to happen with the dollar? Because the dollar is right where it came off the lows. When the dollar, the dollar first off made a low in January, that low was 100.82. It came off it with strength. 
And the bottom of that is 101,546. Now we're at 101,755, but what you had happen today, it couldn't hold price when it went higher. So this very well could be building cause to get to lower price. And if we break that low, your next level down on the dollar is getting you in the 100s. You know, so that'd be quite a move. You know, you can see the last low there was 100.820. And, you know, you break that, and there's not much below it, you know, to basically, yeah, I'm, hey, we'll see, we'll see where this shakes out. But it's deviant, man. I mean, it's, it's deviant beyond belief. Some of the higher volume equities out here today, let's take a look at them. What, excuse me, folks. What you have here is Tesla is uh, down to 80 cents. You get, uh, oh, we're going to go to Google. So Google, you know, it, the Google CEO comes out and says, hey, well, our, our search engines are going to have AI in it, ASAP. Well, it was enough to get goose it today, that's for sure. You know, we're low is 104, we're at 108 right now, and that is what is putting juice into the NDX 100. If we take a look at the NDX 100, you get Google is the leader out there. Moderna is up 2.7 percent. Micron Tech's up 2.6. Taken away from it, Airbnb is down four and a half. You got uh, Costco down two and a half. Belf, uh, Amat's down two and a half. Inside the Dow Industrials, uh, let's go take a look at the strength versus the weakness. And the Dow is, is flat out here. But point wise, what do we have? Point wise, you get Microsoft putting 43 positive points. United Health uh, 16. Honeywell six. Taken away from it, Caterpillar, minus 24, Visa, minus 19, Salesforce, minus 17, American Express, minus 15. So, and the volumes out here today, you know, on this pullback, which makes sense, but the bottom line, it rejected lower price. It's really going to be low. And the NYSE, we're probably going to come in about 700 million, and that is low in a monster way. And on the composite, right now, we are at, oh, yeah, look at this, the composite. The composite is at 2.9. That composite, yeah, maybe we'll come in at four billion. Maybe they'll put a billion into it. I, that's low volume, folks, with a rejection of lower price. That's what we have. Stay right there, folks. We'll be coming back with our man, Mr. Tim Wood. We have the Dow Industrials down 29. NASDAQ is up 80. S&Ps are up 10. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to 